Hello. The Mars Global Surveyor snaps photos of what appears to be a monolith on one of the two moons that orbit the planet Mars. A what? There's a very, very interesting obelisk or monolith there that would change everything. Is it really possible there is an obelisk on a moon of Mars put there by otherworldly beings, perhaps even Earth? Egypt has a number of obelisks in it. And the obelisks in Ethiopia, in Ethiopia, 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 may be that old too. And within the granite is quartz crystal. A crystal tower, quartz crystal, it's an antenna. And it can receive a broadcast and it can give a broadcast a worldwide no. system similar to a wireless broadcasting system these obelisks would broadcast power into the atmosphere and remote locations around the world <laughs> i don't power, even know what to say much like a radio today or a television set a satellite phone or a computer this was set up by extraterrestrials thousands of years ago so we may well find that when we go to Mars, we'll find obelisks there. You have to realize that there is more than just the stones involved. There's a kind of energy field around them, their placement when put in a circle or in their rows. placement? Or standing singly, they would transmit it and download celestial energy. It was meant to be a kind of input to the Earth from the celestial and galactic realms. The celestial and galactic realms. Nice. These sort of tall standing stones all around the world could easily have been part of some kind of energy grid around the planet. Easily. Connecting up the energies of the Earth, harnessing cosmic energy with Earth energy. This sort of megalithic design to create higher nodes of awareness in multiple places. To take advantage of gradients in the landscape. Stonehenge, we now know, generates energy the stones receive what? the energy and slowly release it. The what? ancient people, they would be receiving the energy. It would create a kind of geometry of consciousness on people who were in proximity to them. Whether they are stone spheres in Bosnia, our ancestors are saying that these stones are able to hold energy. No, they're not. A soul, a spirit of the gods. There's these monoliths because we are trying to establish this link between us, mankind, and the world of the gods. Monoliths tapping into the energy of the Earth. A beacon to link with celestial beings. Is it really possible that ancient monoliths hold an advanced, perhaps extraterrestrial power? And if so, just what will happen when we unlock the mystery of the monoliths? Nothing. I don't have a reflection of anybody checking their face in the shade of my glasses.